Geometry Triangle Basics. So we'll enter the geometry application and my habit is to start with a file new. Here's the triangle tool so we'll select it and the first way to draw a triangle is simply tap once and on the screen and a triangle appears. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that method I must admit so I'm going to go file new say OK and start again. So I choose the triangle tool. I prefer to drag a box out with my pen on the screen to the required size and release and we get a it's very similar to the previous triangle. So the drawing's done. Our next job is to head off to the measurement toolbar with this uh, icon at the end of the line and by tapping onto the middle of a side uh, by default normally the length is the first thing that shows up. So um, here it is, it's 8.51871 and um, to find the length of a different side I tap off so I've deselected this side and I'm going to tap onto this side this one is just over 7 long, tap off, tap onto this side and so on so we can measure uh, lengths of lines we can also by choosing, um, I'm going to choose two lines this side and this side which form the angle at A then class pads now figured out we're measuring an angle 51 degrees I could do the same for the angle at the top here by choosing the two sides that make angle B uh, if we bring in a third side you'll notice that it's given us the area of the triangle um, and also there is an option to determine the perimeter so there it's fairly easy to measure things on ClassPad. The following videos in this series will have a look at how we can actually set some of those sides to the sort of things uh, that we'd like rather than having fairly random lengths there.